COVID vaccine injects you with a microchip that connects to 5G. Here's something you might have heard from that friend of yours who does their own research. Well, according to real research, sadly, at this stage, the thing COVID vaccines actually do is potentially save your life. I know, boring. Secondly, even if it were true, as far as side effects go, you could do a lot worse than faster internet. Incidentally, if you're trying to scare people from getting vaccinated, the side effect you make up should be awful, not freaking amazing. Truth is, the chances of turning into a one-person 5G tower from getting a vaccine are zero. The chances of getting a post-vaccine chuppa chuppa, however, extremely high. Right, 5G expert Mike Wood? Right, Mark. Only these towers will connect you to 5G. He certainly likes a chuppa chup. But look, this conspiracy theory is like an all-you-can-eat buffet. It's hard to know where to start, but let's try starting with this. The vaccine obviously does not contain a microchip. The vaccine is like a bathroom visit during gastro. Pure liquid. Also, your body cannot power a microchip. Trust me, I've tried. While we're at it, getting vaccinated will not make you magnetic. I mean, some people may find you more attractive, but I'm telling you right now, they only want you for your chuppa chup. Furthermore, the human body can't just randomly connect to the internet. At best, if you sit at the wrong angle, you might be able to butt dial your way into a Zoom. That said, if you get vaccinated and somehow do start transmitting 5G, please report it to Telstra so they can start rolling you out across metro and regional areas. Failing that, do you mind if I use you as a hotspot? As for the people who do believe there is a connection between 5G and vaccines, well, what they need to do is schedule themselves in for their first dose of reality. And also a dose of the vaccine. That thing could save your life, which I would argue is even better than 5G. Don't get me wrong, I like 5G as much as the next person employed to talk about 5G, but, um, well, you gotta draw the line somewhere.